Uh, uncut with Graham Norton. Enjoying the weather? Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. It is nice to be out in a park, lying in the grass, can of beer. You know, because you want to be, not because your house has been repossessed. <laughs> Yay, it's that. Now, we have not one, but two comedy legends on the show. It's true, we really do. Look, you don't believe me, do you? You're like, really? <laughs> Prove it. Here's the proof. Star of the two Ronnies, one of the most popular entertainers this country has ever produced, Ronnie Corbett is here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yes, he is. Love, love Ronnie Corbett. Uh, now, what can I tell you about Ronnie? Well, he's a keen golfer, famously. There he is. Not quite sure why he's dressed as a lesbian. Uh, <laughs> Ronnie, of course, uh, from Scotland. Very proud to be seen in tartan. Here he is in trousers. Uh, here he is in, in a jacket. And here he is arriving at the studios tonight. <laughs> Also here tonight, uh, another great comedy great star of The Office and Extras, Ricky Gervais is here! <laughs> there he is. Very good. Now, uh, lovely Ricky appeared on the, this show last series to promote the release of his film Ghost Town in the cinemas. And uh, he's here for a completely different reason tonight. Yeah, it's out on DVD. <laughs> Bring the changes. Uh, now, uh, Ricky, of course, doing a lot of work in America now. He recently recorded a special 40th anniversary episode of uh, Sesame Street. <laughs> oh, look! <laughs> the funny nose, googly eyes, big mouth. There's Elmo. <laughs> uh, I, I love Sesame Street. They've got all those fantastic characters, haven't they? There's uh, uh, Big Bird. No! <laughs> not Terry Katona. <laughs> Leave her alone. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, there's Cookie Monster. No! <laughs> no! Uh, what about that creature that lives in a dustbin? No! <laughs> ah, no. Poor old Kerry Ketamine. I mean, Kerry Katona. Uh, back to Ricky Gervais. Ricky uh, is the author of the best selling book, Flanimals. Mm hmm. Uh, and it's full of weird creatures uh, like these. Now, no, it's not special needs Mr. Men. That is, in fact, <laughs> a. A uh, Mernimbler and a Grundit. Uh, there's loads of them. Uh, this is a, a puddle of flage. Uh, here's a Munty Flumble. And here's a Skanking Flea Beaver. <laughs> Let's get our guests on! He is a short on talent, so it's hello from him. It's Ronnie Corbett! <laughs> oh! Yes. Welcome. Thank you. And we're having it off. Yes, we're having it off. It's my favorite comedian, Ricky Gervais. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How's it going? Very good. Yeah, where am I? Go. Hello. <laughs> oh. oh my God. Yeah. Cheers. That's a lot of comedy great on a sofa. That's fantastic. <laughs> oh, well, there's yeah. one legend and me. Ah. Uh, oh no. no, I'm not a no. legend. What else you? you it's lovely to have you up, but you have been on the show before. Right, you've never been on the show before, so we're delighted to have you. I know, and I'm, I'm delighted to be here. Very lovely. Good. Now, obviously, you guys work together on extras. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Well. Just so much fun. And the problem is, <laughs> even in the dressing room there, uh, uh, Ronnie was um, putting on his tartan pants and everything, and uh, <laughs> he was just talking about stuff, and I saw everyone in the room just doing that, because he's just funny. Uh, and it is because you just you are so iconic. But on the day... I couldn't get through a take. He had to be, he had to be taking, <laughs> snorting cocaine off a toilet. That's all I asked him to do. Sniffing, <laughs> sniffing. Yeah. Yes, yes. And yeah. um, 
Uh, oh, you don't have to tell him anything about... No, no. <laughs> anything, anything CD. Uh, don't worry about it. He, 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 he knows. <laughs> well, I am very jealous of you, uh, Richard Vase, because uh, you've uh, appeared on Sesame Street. That is the highlight of my career. <laughs> it, it is. I mean, people... I, I, I couldn't get over it. Um, I went along... And uh, it was already fun because I'd seen the people who'd been there before, and that Stevie Wonder had done it, and it was, and it's a you know a really iconic show and everything. But I met Elmo, and I love him. <laughs> I, 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 I've never watched The Office since it went out. I haven't watched Extra since it went out. I've seen the film at the premiere, but I have watched that clip of Elmo on YouTube about 25 times because I can't get enough of him. I love him. Look at him. Oh, no. <laughs> have you guys seen? Because it is a YouTube. Have you seen this clip on YouTube of Ricky and Elmo? Oh, we have, we have a little, we have a clip of the clip. Oh, right, right. You're doing an interview. Exactly, and he, yeah. These are outtakes. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've got me in trouble. Yeah, it wasn't Elmo's fault. Just... You were doing it. Well, just, just be nice. Don't, no talk Elmo about... Elmo was trying listen, to swear you back. No, these, the, these are the no-go areas. Drugs, <laughs> child abuse, <laughs> the Holocaust. Okay? okay. We're let's not stay, let's, just, let's stay off those three things. Okay. That's because that's your stand-up, right? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> and do you know what necrophilia is? <laughs> Spoil the magic. Where is the man? Where is Elmo? I mean, um, uh, well, uh, Elmo's there, there but, but there is a there is another gentleman um, laying down on the floor who does everything. He operates him. He does the voice. He's a, a guy called um, uh, Kevin. Who is just he's incredible. No, his name, you, you just make that up. Is his, his name, name really Kevin? <laughs> yeah, his name's Kevin. <laughs> what, what, because I, I forgot his name. I just make one up. Well, he does sound like <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> Kevin lying in the floor going, no, no, no. This is so antisocial, this, isn't it? Yes, it's really bad. Can't we just move it around that way? So yes. we can both look at you and each other. Oh, sorry. Yes. It's bad I'm like that. I I'll can't do see that. you. No, that's right. My back is to you a bit. Oh, listen, I'm not in charge, but let's move this. No, no. this. Oh, okay. People are screaming as if we do. No, don't. No, 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 no. People have shouted as if they do. Oh, right, right, yeah. right. Yes. They're moving the sofa! <laughs> I thought you were in charge here. I'm so I'm not. I'm really? Just a, I'm just a puppet. <laughs> There's a man laying down <laughs> Usually. <laughs> He's not called Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> because, uh, obviously, you, uh, Ronnie, you've been famous for forever, it well. seems. But then, but really, about you, so growing up in Scotland. Yes. And your trademark, I mean, your trademark thing is your height. It's, yes, or lack of it, yes. But, but there must <laughs> And I was thinking about this, so there must be a time in, you know, because all children are small. Yes. So <laughs> what age were you when you well, realised... Well, well, really? Brilliant. Well, no... You're like a, you're like a doctor. <laughs> no, but it's like... No, but this is, this is like... When, I when, when do you understand, when do you understand that, that you're I, not going to be tall? Yes. You're what not, age are you? Well, you're sort of 13 or 14 and other boys are moving into long trousers and things and uh, <laughs> you're still in the shorts and things like that and it's uh, that's when you realize <laughs> that's not true though is it you didn't just stay in shorts because she was i stayed in short <laughs> you were know, you know, in shorts but they <laughs> came to your ankles you don't mean that you mean <laughs> no i mean short flannel shorts like that with the school but socks that's up. just making it worse well i know but, yeah, but if I you just... don't grow out of your clothes why would your mother buy you new ones that's right but um <laughs> Because a nappy would still fit me, but it would look ridiculous. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. <laughs> That's I mean, the sort of places he goes I mean, to. No, I mean fit you. <laughs> well, I don't think we go there. No, we no. Have, another, have another drink. <laughs> yeah. But no, but given the, this is, you have ended up uh, marrying... Marrying somebody five foot nine, yes. Yeah, quite a bit taller than Quite you. a bit taller. The, the lovely Anne. The well, lovely there, Anne. There you are. Uh, You've married 44 years. Yes, indeed. I know that. I'm, I'm with you. I'm... <laughs> have you been married a long time? That was a very lacklustre applause. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've been married for years as well. <laughs> <laughs> But of course, yes. lot, lots of famous men have uh, slightly taller uh, yes. partners. Uh, here's a Formula One boss, Bernie Eccleston, with his oh, ex-wife. Oh, gosh, yes. Yes. Now, I say it's ex-wife oh. because, sadly, she chucked him. <laughs> Apparently, she could trust him very far indeed. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, there he goes. Uh, there is a bit of disparity there. Do you know him? Funnily, funnily enough, I met him last Saturday for the first time. 
walking along German Street with my wife, and she was looking in a shop window further along, and Bernie Eccleston came out of the corner of Fortnum and Mason to the coffee bar. And I'd never met him before, but of course I was naturally quite sort of cocky. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and somebody I could, you know, put my hand on his shoulder. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> <And>, Bernie. Um, <laughs> And he was really, he was really sweet, very, very sweet indeed. And I just, we'll, we'll <laughs> just to, to finish on the, the, the being married forty four years. Uh, <laughs> that I, I read that you, you find it quite hard to be romantic. It doesn't come naturally to you. No, that's true. That's, oh. that's Scottish reserve, probably. You know. So we have this little code. Is that what you're getting? Well, right the, the, on on greeting cards. You... Yes, uh, it started when I got, had my first little Mini Cooper and. Um, Oh, it is. I forgot to forget. I forgot. No, no, no. I'm just, everything no, he no, says no, is funny. <laughs> everything he does is funny. <laughs> we're, just, yeah. we're just enjoying you in your Mini Cooper. And, mini Cooper. <laughs> and it was called Ambrosia because. Oh, uh, little, the car. The car, right. I entitled I can't entitle it oh. Ambrosia. Maybe you can change it if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> Kevin Ambrosia. <laughs> No, um, because Anne's, our little code, romantic code, is Ambrosia creamed rice. Oh, God. She, yes, she... <laughs> what do you mean? It just, because in those days, Anne quite enjoyed Ambrosia creamed rice. I don't uh, know if it's a euphemism or not. I don't know what's going on. No, no, there's it's nothing not. salacious about it. <laughs> it's a light dessert. <laughs> <you know? laughs> Yeah. She likes a tinned pudding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. Shall we move off the yeah. back? Yes. <laughs> I'm going on with this interview. Uh, <laughs> because, uh, obviously, you work with Steve Merchant. Yes. Uh, a lot. Mm. And you work with Ronnie Barker a yes. lot. Yes. But neither of you are kind of in that traditional sense double acts. Well, and Ron and I were not uh, joined at the hip like Eric and Ernie, because they had grown up 14-year-old boys. Of course. Doing song and dance together, so they were... Whereas Ron and I were two separate formers who came together at the age of about 37 when we did the start of the two Ron. Really? He's, uh, yeah, it's amazing, really. Now, is it true that you, you only ever fell out with um, Ronnie Bocker about... Was it This Is Your Life that you fell out over? Yes, it was a bit of a... a bit of friction, because of the, we had a sketch in our, um, you know, in our sort of bag that we were looking to do, if we could get Eamon to come on, about a man who was absolutely, uh, what is the word, the adjective, uh, fixated. He thought... Obsessed. Every, obsessed, thank you very much. Uh, very good, that's better than fixated, yes. Obsessed. <laughs> uh, and every knock on the door... It's a quiz. It's a quiz. <laughs> I could have got that. No, no, <laughs> you didn't do me. Do, me. do another one for right, me. Do a right, word for me, Ronnie. Right, word for you. Uh, well, an alternative to obsessed. Well, fixated is good. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and I was being cast, I didn't know at the time, in this unlikely role, and Ron was playing my part, and he said, you play this. I thought, well, this is not quite, this is all wrong. What's going on here? And I went home and said to Anne, this is the first time he's trying to fiddle me into a role that's unlikely, you know. She said, it's the last of the series, do it. And just everything, because she knew, of course, that Eamon was going to come on at the end. And Eamon came on as the tag, of course, and then it was actually Ronnie Corbett, this is your life. Great. And all the set, we've been rehearsing all day with the this is your life set above us, and it just all dropped in and we did it in the audience. So but is it true you didn't want to do this is your life? You'd made it clear that you didn't want to do it. Uh, I hadn't been posed the question. Quite a good word, posed, you see. That's good. Um, <laughs> um, but uh, Ronnie had said to Joy, his wife, if they ever come near you or talk about it, I don't want to do it. So I hadn't got thinking about it, really. That's just as well, because... Ronnie Corbett, tonight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Because, of course... I, is, that, is it funny? That music starts and you suddenly want it to be true. You want the set to open up. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, listen, everyone loved uh, the solar spots on, on the trilogy, you know, the long anecdotes in the yes, armchair, right? Yes, yes. So, what we've done is we've set up our, our Ronnie chair, an homage Ronnie chair, at right. the back, uh, for members of our audience to entertain us with an amusing anecdote. From, like, you know, <laughs> everyone has an anecdote they tell, everyone has a story they tell. Yes. So, this is the idea, right? right. So, uh, I think as our first Ronnie in place, <laughs> this is uh, Charmaine Thompson. Hello, Charmaine. Hello. <laughs> All right, now, the thing is, if she rambles on a bit, yes. and perhaps, God forbid, bores us, <laughs> uh, I can pull this lever. 10,000 volts. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, you'll see what happens. Uh, OK, so, uh, Charmaine, you're uh, from Surrey. Yes. OK, so, uh, Charmaine, delighted with your anecdote. OK, so last New Year's Eve, we had a party and my friend dressed as a cactus. Halfway towards the night, she went missing, didn't really think nothing of it. Um, the next morning, we woke up, gave her a call and found out she'd been locked in the cupboard with another fellow. <laughs> and she had to do the walk of shame in her cactus outfit. Full green outfit, sombrero, gold earrings, the works. <laughs> <laughs> What, what was the relevance of the cat? She just had sex in a cupboard. What was the relevance of the cat? Because I think she'd walk home with it. Look, it was a terrible story. What are you talking <laughs> about? Also, who had sex with a cactus? Who's the, I, it's the bloke story that I'd, I'd follow the guy now. Let's get the guy on here who has had sex with a cactus. But also, if you're in a house, there must be other places to have sex than a cupboard. Yes. Why would you? Yes. yes. Yeah. We'll never know now. Uh, but this is Rosalind McKever. McKeever. McKeever. She's, cor she's corrected me now. All right. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're, you're a student. Indeed, I am. Uh, and where are you from? I'm from Bedford. Bedford. <laughs> 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 what, what are you studying? Art history. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, we've got a few of these. Lisa Sign. Hello. Hello, Lisa. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Uh, you're, you're a sales rep? Yeah, I'm afraid so. What do you sell? I sell pharmaceuticals. Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, uh, off you start with this story. I think this is a great story. She sells farmers what? Pharmaceuticals. Oh. <laughs> Lisa, off you go. Off you um, go. My sister dragged me to go and see Rod Stewart with her, and I wasn't very happy about going. But who was sat in front? But Mrs. Rod Stewart. So we went and had a chat with her, and was she was there? Um, well, she was waving her scarf around so that Rod could see her. And by the end of it, she had her pom poms out, and she was back <laughs> on stage. <laughs> it was very good fun. <laughs> that was about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, oh. Very, very quick. Uh, where is uh, David Alonso? Oh Debra God! What's it going to be now? It's going to get worse. Isn't it? Yeah. Oh, hello. Hi, David Alonso. Oh. Hello. Hi. Okay. And uh, you are a student also. What do you study? Uh, drama at the moment. Oh yes, at the All moment. Right. All right. So uh, tell your anecdote Wouldn't now. Wouldn't give him a chance. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's getting ready. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, off you go. Okay, one dark, majestic evening in Madrid. <laughs> <laughs> majestic evening. Uh, we've, got a, we've got a HR administrator for Sainsbury's. Oh, hello. Uh, Kim Drablo. <laughs> Yep, hi. Hello, Kim. Hi there, how are you? Don't pull the lever, Kim, don't pull the lever. <laughs> don't, don't pull the lever, let's see. Health and safety, yes, health okay. and safety check Come on, let's have some, oh man. Are you going to be okay, Kim? Yeah, I'm going to be fine, thanks. Oh. Okay, and we hope it's a good story, because I, I don't want to be... <laughs> Responsible for a, a terrible. I can okay. see where Kevin is. A long time ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry, Kim, were you talking? Yes. Oh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> I, I do apologise. Start your story now, Kim. We're all ears. Okay, a long time ago, I was going to work one morning and I got run over by milk flow. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good story. They put it in the, on the front of the paper. And all my friends rang up and laughed, and none of them were sympathetic. And then I told them it was going backwards at the time, and they said, well, couldn't I get out of the way, cos they don't go very fast anyway? So I didn't really get any sympathy from anybody, <laughs> even though I did end up in hospital. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs>
that it? I think that's the end. <laughs> I did end up in hospital. Kim, I did oh, end up, yeah. I don't know how to get rid of you. So, are you game for this? Yeah, are you sure? Good. Yeah, it's OK. You sure? Yeah, it's fine. Did you he... sure? Yeah. Did, OK. OK. Can I just say, if you, if you end up in hospital after this, it is a better story than the milk float one. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I'm saying, well done, all her people on the stair. Very good. I like that game. Very yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Now, uh, Ghost what Town is yes. a very fine film, oh, which we both lovely. enjoyed. I it was really now nice. you can enjoy it in your own home. Yes, I did enjoy it in my own home. Oh, you've got the DVD already? Yes, I oh, did. thank you very much. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> I haven't, but I do now. Oh, I could have brought you one. Oh, well, I've got it. It's here. Oh, right. Yeah, I've oh, got right. it here. It's grand. Now, uh, how many people did see this in the cinema? Oh, don't embarrass me. No, look, no, no. people did. No, look, people did. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> So, you may remember from the last time Ricky was on the premises... It's not the same audience, is it? <laughs> or is it? They're just locked it's in. It's on telly! All right, right, yeah. <laughs> they don't just come and see the show. This isn't going out on telly. A lot of it was. No way. <laughs> <laughs> There's people watching home going that. <laughs> is it, is it? I may have that for guests next week. <laughs> uh, but in the film, in, with, when you were doing the ghosty things, did... You didn't do a lot of it on green screen. I mean, you actually were with Greg Kinnear. And well, we did make it a big um, sort of FX movie, really, you know. Yeah. Uh, let's have a look at the clip. Hey, hey, you got a sec? <laughs> Never get used to that. You're the guy, huh? No, I'm not the guy. It's another guy. Go away. Real quick, gotta hit you up for a favour. Once you know that that guy's dead, it's an oral acting scene. You know he's dead, and people know what they're talking about. So there's only a couple of times we did an effect, so you know who the dead are. But then you sort of like forget that, that really. in that clip. That, exactly, yeah. yeah. And then you know he's dead, and, and then then you just accept it. So it, it wasn't. It's not a, a big effects film at all. So well, he did. Did they ever think of doing photographing the dead people in a slightly different? Density well, or something. Um, well, the thing is, I, I worked with the director. Don't nod. No, just, Ronnie's just it's, just Ronnie's it's Ronnie's 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 Ronnie. it doesn't mean everything he says is correct. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I can be right. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? We wanted to find out uh, a bit more about how this uh, ghost stuff worked. So uh, we had Greg Kinnear from your film yeah, on the last show week. last week. Right. So what we've done is we've invited him back. Hey, everybody! <laughs> Greg Kinnear, from the ghost of last week's show. Graham, how's it going? How's, how's the show this week? It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, you've walked through uh, Greg before. So, now, Ronnie, would you like to have a go walking yes. through? Yes. So, what you need to do is, there's a little mark on the floor over here. Yes. See that mark? Yes. There? Okay. Yes. So, if you walk over there. <laughs> there's a little mark. Be there's behind the table. <laughs> no, no, see, that, see the little T, that T there? Yes. That's me, is it? Yeah, facing yeah. like that. Yes. Yeah. Okay, you do that. Yes. Bring your wine with you. It's a long journey. <laughs> <laughs> no. And where do I... You just Ronnie, walk, walk forward, Hello, but walk. don't walk too far because there's a step. Uh, so, I don't walk further than the step. See, there's a little mark. There's a stop by the time ah, you get... Right. Okay, yeah. right. right. Okay, yeah. right. Okay. He's not an idiot. Why would he fall down the stairs? <laughs> Don't walk forward. Don't walk past no, the cliff. Of course I won't. Right. Don't it's touch the fire, right. Ronnie. I'm helping. <laughs> yeah, yeah. People do do things like that. Oh, they could be do. like that. <laughs> <laughs> OK, yeah. No, quick, quick, quick. Here we go. So, you, you, you mark. OK. And you'll so, say action. Will you? I'll say action. So, uh, so now you just walk forward, Mr Corbett. There you go. Walk into him. <laughs> oh, you need to walk a bit further. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> well done, Ronnie! Well done, Ray right here. Come back, come back! Oh, that's very easy. It was easy. So easy. Well, I... There was more to the film than that. I know. <laughs> Will I do it again? No, I've no. got... In fairness, we made that seem too difficult, I feel. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> have a seat, have a seat. Uh, now, I have to say, proper, proper icon here. Uh, Esquire, oh, he's Esquire magazine. Esquire magazine, this very month, the 30 most stylish men in the world. Number two. <laughs> Number two. <laughs> find it? Isn't that impressive? There he is at number two. Now, I have to say, it does take the shine off it slightly when you see who's at number one. <laughs> <laughs> but he doesn't no, buy you... his own clothes. You well, buy your own clothes. Yes, I do. Yes. <laughs> no, because you are incredibly 
dapper. Well, I no, try. look at you tonight. It's all it's it's a fabulous outfit. Well, thank you very much. And do you really buy it all yourself, or did you used to have someone, you know... No, did, no, did I buy it all myself, really, to be... Um, you know, I know what colours I like and what I... And know. do you buy things off the peg, or do you get them no. specially made? No, I can't buy anything off the peg. <laughs> <laughs> Too high. Well, <laughs> <laughs> and then there are certain things I've read about, like, the, you wash your own yes, jumpers. Yes, I do wash my own jumpers. Do you really? Yes, I do, yes. And then... But there must be a nice setting on... <laughs> what? I mean, I'm interested. You've well... turned him out to step down a little step. <laughs> now you're saying you buy all your own clothes. Yeah. <laughs> Look, if you have... If you... This is a busy man. If you... <laughs> if you... It's quite a calming process. If you have a lovely cashmere jersey, yes, right? Yes, I do. And you, I'm sure you have several, in several shades, right? And you know, <laughs> lovely, gentle wash with your hands and hand wash, and then you rinse them the first time. It, no, you've got to, I'm okay, sorry. Go. Rinse them with a little bit of vinegar in the rinsing water. What? what? Vinegar. Why vinegar? Takes out all the soapy feel. Then another rinse afterwards, hang them up dry, and press the come up like new. Now... Yes, but you walk down the street and people go, oh, I could murder some fish and chips. <laughs> <laughs> well, you rinse that bit out. Oh, OK. <laughs> That's very clever. Mm, this, well, and this, they come up a treat, you see, they're lovely. Uh -huh. ah. Well, now, the uh, thing is, it is fair to say, you, you're known as a, you know, a very particular about your clothes, and you do some of the clothes made. Yes. So, uh, we yeah. found a website that might interest you. <laughs> now, wait. No, it, it's, no, okay. it's called Net Grannies, but don't panic. <laughs> We're not, it's nothing bad. No. Uh, they are, this is a genuine website. Yes, uh, Net Grannies. It's called Net it? Grannies. Right. And they are Swiss grannies, right, who knit. Oh. There they are. <laughs> oh, right. uh, and you basically, uh, they will knit you socks to order. <laughs> uh, so it says here, uh, come in the... Actually, does anyone speak German? Oh, we have someone up way at the back. Anyone in nearer speak German? Anyone come? Well, you, do you speak German? No. Are you confident? No, I am. Don't. You are confident? Very confident. Okay. What does Leder Konen wir aus Porcelan Grunden das Project Net Granny mean? You're not pronouncing it right, I'm sorry, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that lever? Where's that lever? Where's that lever? No, you are. It's just that. I'm not, I'm not understanding you very well. Okay, what about, uh, can I say that? What about, uh, Com in the Gut Stus? Can you, can you read what any of that says? Yes, the, the top part. Oh, tell me. Die ganz feine Masche. Well, that's German. I, I mean, I think that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's just it? basically advertising the product, basically saying it's lovely. <laughs> It's like basically custom made socks and arm oh. glove thingies. Yeah. <laughs> Fluent. I am. I am. <laughs> no, we'll get to. We'll get. If we need you, we know you're there. Because we all okay. we placed orders. Genuinely, we did place orders via the website. So I've oh, got you right. some socks. We've got you some nice fluffy ones. They're probably quite thick. Oh, they are. They are thick. quite thick. They are, they are quite knitted. thick. They're knitted on on needles. All right. And uh, we got you some stripy ones, Ricky. What do you mean oh, they're knitted on needles? Of course they're knitted on needles. Yes. Well, no, because some. What would you rather have, the fluffy pair or the stripy ones? We could do. Uh, I could do a little puppet show, couldn't we? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> We're back to Sesame Street. Yeah. So, do you think it'd be a good idea to do the Graham Norton show for any reason? Well, I'll have to think about it. Think. <laughs> <laughs> These are lovely. They're These are nice. gorgeous. They're lovely. And so the idea is, you look at the photographs, you choose your granny, and you, you get them to do it for you. And we actually do have uh, the missing granny uh, on the line now. Uh, hello, Switzerland. Can we have your votes, please? Just practicing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello, granny. Hello. Do you speak English? No. <laughs> well, I've got someone who claims they can speak German. <laughs> well, really, we just want to say, uh, Danke schön. Danke schön. For the. What's German for Socken. Socken. Danke schön for der Socken. <laughs> 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 
Okay, die, wollen, die wollten nur Danke sagen für die Socken. See, yeah. she can speak German. <lacht> Where is she as far as we know. Where is she die wollten sich für die Sa Socken be bedanken, die freuen sich ganz doll. Oh, can you ask the lady, is she one of the grannies in the pictures? Auf der Webseite? Ja. Yeah. Ist ihr Foto da? Ja. Yeah. Welche, Frau, welche Dame sind Sie denn? Was, was tragen Sie denn? Welchen oh, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Let's try and guess. Okay. Okay, who do we think she is? The granny. Okay, die raten im Moment. Okay, ask her, ask her, uh, what, what, what color is her hair? Was für eine Haarfarbe haben Sie? Grau. Grey. <laughs> Apparently, brown is German for grey. Um, it might be her. Well, it might be her. Do you want to have, have, have a guess? Have, have a guess, guess. Have a guess. Who do you think it is? Who do I think? It's, it's like it? Granny Bingo. <laughs> I would say this lady here. Which one now? This one. This, this is, is the one, most yeah. bizarre TV show I've ever done <laughs> in my life. Graham Norton and Ronnie Corbett trying to guess <laughs> who the German granny is. Swiss. 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 Sorry. Uh, who, who do you think it is? She says she's Swiss. <laughs> <laughs> um, you go oh, oh well, well, I well. don't know. You get the wine while well, I'm up there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. No one noticed. You're fine. <laughs> okay. So, uh, is your name is your name Mathilde? Is it Mathilde? Is your name Mathilde? No. Oh. What, what, what's she wearing? In the oh, not, not in a creepy way. I mean, I'm not. Auf dem Foto, was tragen Sie denn? Was für eine Farbe ist Ihr Pullover? Eine orange Jacke. It's an orange jacket. Oh, is it her? Oh, is it? Oh yeah, it's the I, that one. I knew it. Did you go with her? <laughs> I knew it. What's your name? Is it oh, Meta? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it is yeah. Meta! <laughs> that's what we're talking about. Lovely. Thank you, Sean. Thank you. Thank you to you too. What's your name? Mamona. Mamona? Yes. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Or thank you, Sean. Sure. I've given you socks. Yes. And I've got another fantastic gift for you now. Uh, because we know you are a keen golfer. Yes. Now, the good thing about people who like golf, I don't understand golf myself, no. but knowing people who like golf, they make an awful lot of crap, essentially, that you can <laughs> buy for golfers, don't right. they? Right. Like, for, for Christmas, you must oh, yes, just lovely. end the socks little to put on top of the things and the little... And the equipment. Thing. Equipment. You know, <laughs> that, that's expensive driving. <laughs> yes. Well, <laughs> I think... This, well... Like, oh, my God. This is, I know, this is for you to take home and enjoy. Oh, It's God. called the Euro Club. Do you have one of these already? No, I haven't got a Euro Club. Well, no. I think you'll be delighted. Because uh, what it is, is, if I can open it... Do you want me to help no, you? No, no, you're grand. Uh, oh, here we go. I've please got, let me open it. Oh, you're excited because it's your gift. <laughs> well, oh, here we go. So what it is... <laughs> now, what it is... It's for... It looks like a false leg, actually, at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> you're not far wrong. No. Because, basically, when you have you're, out, you're out golfing, right? Yes. You're taking a little short. Oh, yes. <laughs> right? No way. Yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. So, what you do, you clip this... Yes. ...on your trousers, like this, right? Ah, yes. Right? You then, you unscrew the top... <laughs> ...of the head. No one will notice. <laughs> no one will think anything odd is going on. <laughs> I can only say, apparently, apparently, they say that takes half a liter, <laughs> which is more than two. Does, that's more than double your normal. Thing. And does one size fit all? Or <laughs> well, yeah, but mostly, yeah. Well, you pee into it. You don't put anything else into it. But... <laughs> no. No, I no, wouldn't. No, I no, wouldn't. No. Uh, I mean, uh, obviously, I don't think you can actually use it to play golf with because it's, it's weighted slightly wrong. Yes, and, right. And it'll be full of piss. Uh, <laughs> and, and it'll slash about as you swing. So, yes. is that to put in your golf cart? Like, oh, where's my? I think so. Where's my laboratory club? club? Yeah. Where's my <laughs> laboratory <laughs> club? But no one will notice. <laughs> 19th <laughs> century. And where is my <laughs> laboratory <laughs> club? <laughs> uh, you might have to buy two though, in case you get. 
a hole in one. <laughs> Thank you, good night. I was, I'm confused. I thought that was the that was what the bunkers were for. And it is very nice. Am I going to get it? No, yeah, do please. <laughs> uh, do you want one? You're I'd good. use it. I'd definitely <laughs> use it. I'd use it now to save getting up and going to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's very sweet, though. Uh, no, it is. It's very nice. Yes. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not quite sure how the lady uh, golfer manages, but you know. No. no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bless. It's an odd angle. <laughs> uh, now. Ricky Gervais. Yes. What? Extras. Uh, more extras? No, more extras. No, I don't think so. We, you, we, we were going, you talked well, about Well, we were tempted because we, we sort of finished it and we thought we did the special and we thought it ended well and we, it's the same as The Office, two series and a special. But then when I go to these award ceremonies, I go to the Emmys or Globes and all these people that come up and say that they'd have done it or are you doing any more, it, it's just, it's sort of depressing. And I phoned Steve and I was going, we could get Stallone, we could get Drew Barrymore and, and, um, and he said, yeah, we just leave it. But it, we'd, we'd be doing it for the sake of it. We'd be doing it for our sort of star-pulling power, as opposed to what it was about, really, because it was a, you know... It was actually a really nice sitcom about original characters, you know, but the press... And it had a really nice heart as well. Well, I yeah. think so, yeah. It was about, you know, four hapless people. And the backdrop was just these Hollywood A-listers. Because the person... is like Sean Williamson, Paris Me Sanders. Oh. Like, that's what... Like, how do you pitch it to him? How do you go... Kind of, We'd love you to be in our... <laughs> this is who you'll be playing, because it is a bit... We talked to him and um, we said that we skewer their personality and we, we, you know, we sort of um, deconstruct. I mean, I can't believe the things people did. I can't believe the people we got to do it, but then I can't believe the things they did, like Ronnie doing that and Maura Stewart being a drug dealer, being fist. George Michael <laughs> looking for... Well, you can't believe he did that. Well... <laughs> <laughs> He did do that. <laughs> <laughs> and, and now, because playing an extra... Has oh, it does. Um, when, um, that thing, like, when I accepted the award with George Michael in bed. Did you see oh, that? Oh, yeah, 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 on the company awards. Yeah, yeah. The joke was George Michael in, in bed. And I thought, oh, we, we'll come round... Um, I shouldn't tell this story. Oh, go on. Okay, go on, no. <laughs> oh. So, I said, I, I, said, I thought we'd... I said, can we come round to your house and um, film the thing? He went... He said, no. He said, I don't want people at home going, I know that bed. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and being oh, an extra, dear. has given you any insight a bit? Like, how are you now dealing with extras? Are you I don't, like... They're not allowed to come anywhere near me. <laughs> <laughs> they're kept in a small... I'm joking. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> no, because you were saying, what, what was the last film? Because the extras... Because extras can be very distracting when you're watching something. Oh, I'm... I, but I'm, uh, uh, What's the word? Um, yes, oh, God, doing an impression of you. What's the word? Um, uh, um, uh, compulsive, no, no. Um, Repulsive? Uh, no, no, no. This is doing one of case. What, uh, up the Anne of a castle? No. Uh, what, up the ante? No. Up the, uh, no. Uh, up the pub, up the... Up the pub. <laughs> At the doctors. At the doctors. No, doctor. not at the doctors. No, <laughs> I'm, you, um, I'm up. I'm, I'm uppity. I'm very man. uppity. You're right. Oh yeah. So He's in a, 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 I'm. A, I can't stand noise or fiddling or whistling or people chewing in restaurants. So when I'm acting, um, it has to be sort of like silent. <laughs> I say, take away the real plates. Give them plastic. I am so. I banned chewing gum on the on the set of my last <laughs> film. I'm a bit mental. <laughs> oh, I tell you what winds me up. People who do this. <laughs> oh. oh. I hate that. I hate that. Oh, unbelievable. I can't, I can't believe how often in football matches... They go God. closer... Every time. The moment there's a close-up... And if you, oh, stay, oh, if you stay on oh, football... Oh, that's the worst. Oh, that is the yeah. worst. <laughs> and yet, a skill. You have to have it quietly in the morning. Uh, <laughs> no, it's, it's all down here. It's oh, called no. a dustman's blow. Is that oh, what yeah. It's called a dustman's blow, yeah. You thought the dustman's blow was something quite I did. <laughs> Uh, being a sporting artist, a very important job. Sporting artist, I know, extra. Yeah. Uh, it's a very important <laughs> job, and it's all about, you know, not upstaging the main action in a dramatic scene. So, uh, Ronnie and Ricky, if you'd like to come over here, we've got a little set, a little oh, cafe set. Bring your, bring your wine. Oh, bring your so wine. Will. Watch the step. Watch the step. <laughs> there we go. Now, there is a very large step Oh, a here. very large one here, I'll come yeah. down first. Oh, thank Jump. you. Jump! <laughs> 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 
Good job. Now, uh, if you want to sit uh, here, Ronnie. All oh, right. There we go. We've got some terrible Coca-Cola. There you go. You sit we'll there. We'll keep our wine, of course. Yeah, of yes, course. Of course, of course. Now, right. what we're doing here... Go on. You two are going to be involved in a very dramatic scene. Just yeah. a, a very intense emotional scene. Right. And say you've given Ricky some very bad news. Yes. And you're absorbing that news. I'm your illegitimate son. Is that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You look more upset than Ricky. <laughs> 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 okay. Oh, right, right. Okay. Well, that's very personal, isn't it? Can it, it be is. not some, something financial? That... Oh, it could be financial. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He is, he right. is um, your financial advisor. Um, okay. Really yes, firm. good, I like that, I like that. Am I playing me? Am I Ricky Gervais? Or yes, you be Ricky Gervais. Yeah, that's right. probably He's not Ronnie Corbett, though, is he? No. no, 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 he's no, no. A, <laughs> very good. Yeah. Yeah. That would be very, that would be very unusual if Ronnie Corbett was your financial advisor. I don't know. I think yeah. you do Invest a good job. everything in the Euro Club. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. Right. Very serious. Very serious. You ready? Are you ready? Yes. Now, you're going to be serious, yeah. yes? Of course I'm serious. Very, very yeah. good. Okay, have to get in our, our first extras, please. First extras. Now, I want you to do a bikini. There's a rag there, so just do a bikini, okay? Uh, you just work it, but don't, don't be in the camera. Don't look at the camera. Don't do a lot of waving, okay? You ready? You know what you're doing? Oh, look, look! See, look, he's doing it already. Yeah. <laughs> I think this one's going to be good. Okay. Right. okay. Right. And... Action! Well, the point is that we don't have to be... Uh, that you've got to just regroup, I think. <laughs> <laughs> stop, stop, stop. That's what usually happens. Yeah. Okay, let's okay. go again. Okay. okay, okay. You were marvellous. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Chris. Okay. And action! If you look at it just in a serious way and remember what you've got to rescue and maximise that, that is the that is going to be the. So if you've got the. <laughs> We've got one last one, one last one. Here we right. go. So, you ready? You ready? Okay. Yeah, um, yeah I'm ready. Yeah. And... Right, okay. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Pat. <laughs> Action. No, no. You just must look. You must, what? What's you going must, on here? What's get, going on you here? You mustn't get sort of down at yourself. You must see that round the corner there's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Graham. Oh. Oh. Yeah, just, just get that bit in and I'll be Sean Williams and Barrett B. Sanders, come on in! How are you? Look at this. Look at this. Wait a second, man. Look at uh, yeah. well, what are you doing here? Well, I'm gutted. I thought it was a real cafe. I was after the all-day builder's breakfast, really, but uh, I've had that. No, seriously, tonight, Ronnie Corbett, this is your life! Oh, my God! It's not. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for tonight. Please like my guest, Ricky Gervais, Ronnie Corbett, and we've got Sean Williamson! a longer on edition of this show on Sunday night. Do join us same time next week with star of High School Regional, Zach Efron, Bill Britton, David Williams, and the fabulous Pet Shop Boys. We'll see you then. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Good